I'll retouch away anything that wouldn't be there in a few weeks. Let's talk about retouching and why Photoshop sucks. Photoshop free is this chic buzzword that is all over the place, constantly reminding us of the crazy beauty standards that this over retouching and I would say a lot of times pointless retouching has sort of brought out into, the, into our society. Uh, a lot of men see this stuff and they dream about it and objectify and want that. A lot of girls see it and dream and, and, and try to become it. And it just leads to disappointments across the board, depression, all that nonsense. Um, now, I don't wanna get into all that stuff. I wanna talk about why Photoshop sucks, or actually, why Photoshop doesn't suck. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna point out is that there have been methods of retouching images since the dawn of creating photographs and the dawn of imaging. You had dodging and burning, you had Ansel Adams marking up photos for retouching, double exposure, I know that's technically not retouching, but it's still image manipulation in the camera. Um, all these different methods of touching up, they've been in some way or other mainstays in the industry uh, for years and years. Uh, the key in the over retouching issue, I believe, is the massive amount of power that Photoshop puts into the photographer or into the retoucher's hands. And I think this is particularly clear when it's in the hands of someone who is trying to, you know, build this false perception from an image. You have that unrealistically curvy girl, that super shredded guy, or that girl that's ridiculously skinny. Um, or you have the retoucher who just isn't that great at retouching and is committing these digital atrocities, uh, I like to call them, by, by layering on box blur after surface blur after this blur, uh, you know, retouching the eyes until they look like just these space crystals. And of course, we've all seen uh, the horrendous usage of the liquify tool. Um, you know, like a lot of things, Photoshop can be overused and definitely used to misrepresent a person or a product that's being sold, but I don't think that that should damn Photoshop and have us reaching for this Photoshop freeness. Um, despite being a Photoshop guy, I, I do like to see these Photoshop free fashion spreads. I'm not sure if they are 100% Photoshop free, um, but these publications I think are great um, and they certainly, I, I think, are reflecting a little bit more of like an honest look at what these young guys and young girls should be looking at. I guess all of us, and I'm sure that we've, or most of us have seen the studies that show that the more somebody uses or looks at their Facebook feed and interacts with it, the more miserable they tend to become. Um, and I think it's because we have this incessant urge to compare ourselves uh, to everyone around us. We, I compare myself to you, you compare yourself to me. And I think in life or the graphic design slash photography business, comparing yourself to your peers is the fastest way to make yourself want to just give up and quit and be done with it all. Uh, so bad Photoshop sucks. I would say good Photoshop rocks. Photoshop used for a great layout or UI design is incredible and Photoshop used for amazing retouched fashion photos and portrait photos and moody portraits or amazing composite portraits is definitely really, really great stuff. I think the key is you have to have a rule and my general rule is that I'll retouch away anything that wouldn't be there in a few weeks. So major acne, uh, scratches, dirt, you know, any kind of those blemishes I'll get rid of. I'll even touch up the figure of a person I'm photographing if they didn't quite nail the pose as perfectly as I hope they would and maybe it's giving them like a crazy double chin where there normally wouldn't be one. Uh, a little muffin top action, uh, maybe lack of ab definition, sometimes it'd be a hunch over. I try to retouch to create the image that I remember seeing, and that works for me. So that, I think, is responsible, you know, good Photoshop. That definitely doesn't suck. So what do you think about it? What's too much Photoshop in your mind? What makes Photoshop go from being uh, totally great to absolutely sucking? Hit the thumbs up button to give this video a like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this issue. Take it easy.